when we went back to where we were, we, we, they said scatter. And we went to the closest. Right, yeah, I believe it would break the It is 1943, and the tide of war has turned in favor of the Allies. At the Tehran Conference, Roosevelt, Churchill, and Stalin had agreed to launch an invasion of Europe in 1944. Eisenhower was concerned that thousands of young Americans drafted into the army lacked experience. We were straddled by a, a salvo from the United States battleship Texas. Tracer bullets were flying all over the place. So it was complete shambles. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. see on Grosvenor Square in London, I pass a statue of President Eisenhower and the buildings where he and Field Marshal Montgomery planned the Normandy landings. As I do, I often pause to remember those who took part in that pivotal operation which turned the war freedom's way and to reflect on the nobility of their cause. In early 1944, thousands of young men put their lives on hold, left their friends and families, and made their way across the Atlantic to England, where they were destined to be a part of Operation Overlord. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeat in open battle. Sailors not at their assigned watches were asleep in their berths. This was to be a full dress rehearsal in the morning. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped and battle hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. 
hundreds of bodies were never recovered. There were no memorial services. I mean, I think it was because of him. Uh, we were the lead ship. He was the lead in, ship in Operation in Tiger. Operation Tiger, yeah. What sort of time of day was this? Was this sort of like well, we didn't... Um, that was just a getting up there. Uh, but no, we did all right until it started getting dark. It got dark. Now, now it's in the engine room. You could only see the, the light. The traces. Yeah, the light. No, not because they hadn't started yet. Ah. And then uh, after we did that, well, then they started firing. And uh, so then the captain ordered us not to fire anymore because what we're doing. Right, and I happened just. I was uh, on the LSD 499, yep. and we were standing four on and four off. And we figured it was part of the maneuver. And, and I saw the torpedo wake, all right? And I didn't know, I'm 17 years old, I had no idea what they were. Don't. I seen them in the movies, you know, but I, who thought we were on maneuvers, you know, who's shooting torpedoes at? Well, then the ship, uh, now it, I, I don't know how far ahead of it. It looked like it was right in front of us. It blew up and all. So we kitted order, hooked the flaps onto us and the uh, flags were taken, uh, the American Stars and Stripes down with us. And we were going to put those, attach them both to the wreck. The first wreck that we attempted was 507.
the people gathered here today are representing those family members who never had a chance to say a final goodbye to their sons, brothers, husbands, fathers.